what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel this is the future city so part two of the parallel world is here you can connect up to four together as you can see here but without any further ado guys let's go ahead and get up top and get this thing open all right guys here it is this is the future city now you can take the two and connect them side by side like this but I'm going to do it this way. Now, I would kind of rather have it setting this way, but I'm going to do it this way for you guys so you can see how the lift ramp works combined together. So the marbles are going to come all the way up to the top and then come all the way down through both models. So that's how I'm going to do it. And then when I get two more, I'll be able to just connect them onto the sides and change out that one diverter at the top again so it's going to go to either side. But this is how I'm going to do it for you guys so you can see how it works. Let's go ahead and crack it open and see what we got inside. All right, guys, we have our instruction manual right on top. The instruction manual was great on the first one. I had no issues with it. Uh, again, and I don't know how this is going to come out on the camera. It looks yellow in the manual on the alternative ways of building things. So there's going to be different ways that you're going to build it. Uh, depending on how you have these set together. So it's going to have the instructions for all of it in here. But generally, if you're running just the normal instructions, you're going to go by the white section here. And then when you hit areas where you're going to have to make a decision on how it's going to be set up, you'll get some uh, alternate. Let's try to find a page where you're going to get to that. Generally, it's going to be in like a yellow blocked area like this. Like I'm going to have it set up, this one's going to be C, and then my original one is A. So that's the way I'm going to set it up, like this. So I would be going by the directions for C. If I was going to be putting it on the bottom, I would be going for the directions for B, where it's going to come into this side and come down that way. I hope that helps you out a little bit. Again, in, in the manual, this looks yellow. On camera, I think it looks kind of gray or something. But anyways, guys... Let's get started. All right, guys, we're gonna be start by installing this light strip here. This is um, a 1B, and then uh, we're gonna attach it in with two of the P15 screws, and it's gonna look just like that. Just run the wire out the back hole. There we go. Okay, next, we're gonna install on part J here. That's this piece, and uh, this is gonna give that lit Night City look at the top. It's got a little notch in the top here that's going to correlate with this notch inside the box that's right down here. We're just going to put it in there and push it in. It fit in nice and snug just like that. All right, now we have G1, which is this picture piece here that goes in the back. And okay, now we're going to drop this into the bottom. And you want these lettering here, this MR02 in the top left corner. So we're just going to drop that down in there. And this will match up our holes that we're going to be using over the bottom. So basically this will cover up all the holes that we're not using. And it'll show you the diagram uh, of exactly where each piece goes. Almost like Battleship, huh? Alright, let's sit that down in there. Just like that. And now it has only the holes that we're going to be using exposed. Okay, now we have MM1. That's this piece here. And it's going to go onto these two holes here and here. So we're just going to put it in this way around and the little red arrow pointing downwards and we're just going to put it on there and push it firmly all the way in and you want to make sure that's all the way in there completely just like that and now we're going to be installing h 14 and 15 and the h is going to correlate with the bag like this one is h this one is i and it'll also be on the sprue itself as you can see uh, right here so now we're going to find 14 and 15 and we're going to snip those off just in case you've never done this type of uh, model before. It's, it's just like the wood models. If you're used to the Roker wood models, you're going to have a letter and then the number. So we have 14 and 15. This one's 14 here and this one's 15 right here. So we're going to be snipping those two off. Anytime you snip the sprues off, you want to go back to where you snipped them off at and just make sure they're nice and smooth and even there. On this one piece here, it probably doesn't matter so much, uh, but sometimes it does. Uh, you'll be able to see it or it'll interfere with an action. So uh, it's just good 
practice to go in and make sure you got those snipped off nice and smooth. You can even use a little sanding board, an emery board, or a little piece of sandpaper and uh, trim those, uh, get those nice and smooth. Now they're gonna be lettered on the bottom. As you can see here, this one says L1, and this one says R1. So L1's gonna go on the left, R1's gonna go on the right, and they're gonna go right into the corners here. Uh, these pieces are really just kind of holding everything in together. And we're gonna turn it this direction, and we're gonna push those pins uh, into these little holes on the side, inside there. Hard to see, they're kind of dark. There they are, you can see one right there, and there's another one at the bottom. That's where these two are gonna go in, so we're just gonna line that up on those holes and push it in, and push them all the way in there like that right there in the corner and then we're going to put R1 on the other side just the same way there you go like that now we got them both in the corners here and here you know we have H16 and 17 and this is going to be L2 and R2 and they're going to go in the bottom corners so again L is going to go on the left side R is going to go on the right side and you just want to get them in the right direction here we're gonna put the L one in first, just push it in, snap it all the way down in, and then we're gonna go over to the R and we're gonna put that one in. Get it pushed all the way in, okay? So they're gonna look like that in the bottom. Okay, now we need G, G2, which is this one here, and that's gonna be our inside floor plate, and it's gonna slide into those little corner pieces that we just put in. You just wanna line it up with those and slide it right in just like that in the bottom. Okay, now we're gonna turn this over to where the bottom is facing straight up and we have 1B P10 right here. So this is from pack 1B, this part P10. And we're gonna be installing this in. It's gonna go this way, we have two little holes in it that's gonna go over these two little pins here. Now this is where the touch switch is gonna go. And uh, so this is what this is, this is the touch switch. And we're gonna put it in just like that. Okay, now we're gonna need two more of those um, P15 screws out of pack two. And then we have H9, this plastic piece here. And that's gonna go over this. You can see we have two holes in it, here, here. And then there's two uh, spots here and here for those holes to go over so we can screw that on. And going over this little metal switch we just put in, we're gonna just slide that on and cover that switch up just like that. Okay, and now we're gonna screw that in with those two P15 screws. And guys, I'm just using the screwdriver that came with it. It works just fine. If you have your own screwdriver set, by all means use that. I usually use the electric Fantic E1 Max screwdriver. Uh, if you guys are interested in an electric driver, I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. All right, get that nice and snug down there so it's not going anywhere. Okay, then we're just gonna run the rest of that wire. There's little pins here, a little uh, wire catch. We're gonna run it through that. Just push it in, there you go. And then this way. And then this is gonna go through the hole right there. So we're gonna put that through the hole and then push that into that final wire catch there. It's really, really hard to get in there. You might wanna use something to kind of open those up a little bit. And now we got pack two, P14, and this is the little touch switch. Little metal touch switch. We're gonna lay this back down and the touch switch goes right in here and this is what's gonna connect it to that little switch we just put in. So you wanna just get it into this slot here and then just use something and push it all the way in as tight as it'll go. Just like that. Okay guys? Okay guys, now we have G, G3, and G4 that are these side pieces. And these are gonna get stuck on. I don't remember these uh, didn't get stuck on in the last city. I don't think so. But this one comes with little stickers to stick these on. Maybe it did, and I just don't remember. All right, so we're gonna flip these over like this, and we're gonna put the stickers on the inside, the white edge, the inside, the, the side with no, no picture on it. And we're gonna peel one of these off, and we're gonna stick it right here. It's near the bottom, and then uh, we're gonna do another one here that and do the same thing on this side okay and now we're going to take the protective film off and just leave the sticker just use your nail or a blade or something get those little protective films off of there <laughs> kind of static cling to me they'll never go away 
right, so we just left the sticker. You can see there and there on. All right, these only go one direction. So this is the bottom, this is the top. You want this notch going towards the top for this hole here and uh, this smaller notch towards the bottom. And we're going to slide that in all the way down. Sticker's gonna wanna get in the way, just like that. And then rub across the bottom to make that sticker stick. All right, should look just like that on that side. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Turn it around so I can see it. Get it all the way down, around the bottom there. Make sure that stickers are on. There we go, and that's the other side. Perfect. All right, now we have H12, and uh, it only goes one direction. As you can see, the pegs are a little offset, so we need to figure out which way that goes. All right, looks like it goes with the shorter uh, distance to the back, and we just wanna put that in right here. We can, there we go. Get that in the holes, push it in all the way. It's gonna look like that. Now we have L1 and B7, and we're gonna be connecting these together. It's gonna go this way. We have our decorations facing outwards and then this one with these decorations facing out and they're gonna cradle these are gonna go into these holes like that I'm gonna push that all the way in make sure everything's always pushed all the way in so you don't have any issues okay and now that's gonna leave us with these three pins now and this this one's gonna go right here on these three holes so you can see how the pins are and we can see how these three holes are and it's gonna go right in there and just push it right in. Again, make sure it's all the way in. You can look at the back and make sure that the pegs are all the way flush or even protruding a little bit. You just wanna make sure it's all the way in, okay? It's gonna look like that. Okay, now we have this light. This is P3, this is A3, and we have one P17 screw. That is a four millimeter screw. We're gonna be attaching this little light into this box you can tell your lights uh, one way, just look at the shape, and another is the wire coloring. They actually show the wire coloring on the diagram. Uh, this is a blue, black, and white wire, and the wire on this is blue, black, and white. They all have different colors, so. This is gonna go this way with the LEDs facing out. We have a little hole at the top here and a little spot here for the wire to come out. We're gonna put it in just like that. Again, with the LED facing outwards, push this into this little box. Sometimes they're kind of a tight fit, but we wanna make sure we get it down in where it's supposed to be, just like that. And we're going to uh, screw that in with that screw. And get it nice and snug. It's gonna look just like that. Okay, now we have uh, M, M2. That's this piece here. And uh, we're gonna be putting our light on here. It's gonna go this way. And we have two pegs here and two holes on our little light box we just made. And we're gonna just line those pegs up on there and uh, push it on. It's a nice and snug fit, pressure fit, so no gluing or anything like that is required. It's gonna look like that. Now we have F4, that's this little go sign. Now this is like a translucent plastic with paint so that the only thing that'll show through the light is the go. And we wanna make sure we put the go in the right direction. So facing up like this, and it's going to snap into here. The top end first, and then the bottom. There you go, snap it all the way down in there. It's gonna look just like that. You know, we have C9, this little black piece here, and I think this is gonna be a diverter because we have P11, this is pack two P11. And this is a 17 millimeter little rod. We're gonna take our uh, part that we disassembled right here. And this little rod is gonna go into that bottom hole, that little hole right there in the bottom. And slide the little rod in like that. Now we wanna make sure we have this in the right direction. Well, I think it might be the same either way. It looks like it is. But we want to put it uh, with this side here facing downwards and then slide the pin into the hole on it like that so what's going to happen is the ball is going to drop in and it's going to hit that bottom piece and it's going to go out that way and then the next one's going to drop in and hit that bottom piece and it's going to go out the bottom so one's going to go that way one's going to go this way so this is a pretty neat little diverter here as you can see here this is, when the ball comes down here it's going to go out the bottom hole 
when it comes in again it's going to go out this side hole neat all right now we got a5 which is this piece and it's going to be the side panel on here so we're going to line that little pin up with this hole here get that lined up get the other pins lined up and just push that all the way on and you can hear the little diverter moving freely in there that's what you want all right now we have these two pins here and we have the wire now as you can see down in here we have the three holes these two are circled because that's where the pins go and the top one's got a little green uh, dashes around it and that's where the wire goes so we want to push the wire through that one just like that pull it through and then push our little pins in all the way in okay it's gonna look just like that and then we have the wire coming out the back and then we have a11 which is this black piece here and we have uh, this pin out of pack two and this is a p12 and this is the 20 millimeter long pin so we're going to turn this one this direction like this and this pin is going to go into that hole right here it's going to be tight so we're going to use the uh we'll just use the bottom of the screwdriver and we're going to push that in as far as it'll go just like that all right now we have the piece that we just made with the pin and we have n1 which is this piece here now this piece has two sides one looks like this and one looks like that with a triangle opening we want that triangle opening going in towards this piece here and we're going to run this uh, pin right through the middle of it like that hey okay, this is another diverter guys then we have c6 which is this little piece here with the arrows on it and we're going to put that over that pin just like that and then we have D10, this little white cap here, and it's going to go over the pin. And push all the way hard as it'll go, this will still be pretty loose. It needs to be. And this is the uh, diverter, and it's just going to kind of swing on here. Now we're going to be adding this in, and we have these two holes right here, right next to this one. And that's where that one's going to be going. There's a hole in this, so it's going to drop through and divert this way or that way. So let's line that up and push it right into those two holes. Okay, it's gonna look just like that. Okay hey guys, then we got C11, which is this piece here, and we have our final pin, which is the 23 millimeter, and it's from pack two, that's P13. And we're gonna put it into the single hole here on the top. We got two on the bottom, one on the top. I'm gonna put it in the top one there and push that in. And we'll just use our screwdriver, make sure it's all the way in there, just like that. Now we're gonna take that and we have D nine which is this piece here and we're going to put it with this part sticking outwards and we're going to slide that over just like that and then we have b17 this little colorful wheel here and that's going to go on to that and it's got a little uh, piece here that's going to fit into the slot on this little wheel this little paddle so we're just going to push it in like that and then to cap it off we have c14 another little cap here and that's going to go over the top of that like that and push it nice and tight and I'm gonna flip it over and just kind of give it a nice snug push down just make sure it's all in there right and that's gonna turn just like that okay. now we're ready to put this piece in and it's gonna go right here where these two holes are here and here and it doesn't really matter which direction it's kind of the same either way on this one so we're just gonna put them into those holes push that in nice and snugly just like that Right, now we got L12 which is this white one here and we've got C3 this piece here okay, and going this way around with these little X's mark pointing to the front we're gonna just push this onto the bottom over those two pegs just like that nice and firmly okay it's gonna look like that and now we have five pegs here on the back to go in and if we look inside we have five pegs right here that's where it's gonna be going so let's just get it lined up and push it in very simple stuff people just make sure we get it I like to put my hand on the back just to give it a little more support and just make sure that it's firmly all the way in it's like that you know we got C13 this piece right here and we're gonna be putting it in you can see we have the two pegs here and these two pegs right here and we're gonna be pushing it right onto those 
like that again. I'm just gonna put my hand in the bag just to make sure it's firmly in there. Okay. And now we got B10, which is this black piece here. We have P4, this light here with the white and green wire. We have one P17 screw, and we have F1, this little V shape here. Now we're gonna be assembling this little light box together. I'm gonna hold it this way, and we're gonna push the wire through the hole over there. All right, and down in there, way in the bottom, you'll see this, this hole here is gonna line up over the hole inside. You can just use a little screwdriver or something and try to get it down in there. Just don't break the board. There you go. And now I'm going to take this screw and I'm going to screw it in. Hold that together. It should bring that board down in there too. Just like that. Now we got this little V piece and that's going to be the cover over that. And it really just goes uh, with these holes over those two pegs. Facing this way with the V facing down towards these little lines here. And just put it on and push it on there. Again, very simple stuff. Okay, should look like that. We're gonna be putting this in the box. Now this is one of those where the wire is gonna actually be running through the peg that goes through the hole in the back. So we need to run the wire around uh, over to this peg here. And we're gonna push it into that, push it into that peg. It's got a little slit on the side. So you want it in there like that. Okay. And now we're gonna run this through these two holes here and here. Again, the one with the little green outlines around it, that means the wire is going through that one. So make sure you flip it around where the wire is going through that hole. We're gonna slide it through. And just make sure that wire stays in that little groove and push it into place. There you go, wire is not pinched in the groove it's gonna look just like that and here's the wire coming out the back all right guys we got part m3 right here this white piece here we have the light here this is p5 and it has the orange black and white wire on it and we're gonna be putting this inside here we're gonna turn it around this direction like this with this piece facing down and we're gonna put it with the lights facing up and we're gonna slide this in. There's a little slot inside there for this to slide into here and here. You can see the little slot. So just run the wire through and we're gonna slide it in again with the lights facing upwards, uh, just like that. And now we got F5, this piece here, and it's gonna go just shaped like this. And we're gonna slide that in. Capture that in just like that. Okay, now with it turned this way with these little ridges facing towards the bottom of the box, we're going to put this in. Now we need the uh, three holes here, one, two, and three, and this one's got the green lines around it. So that's where our wire goes, right through the middle. I'm gonna push it through and push this on, just like that. Okay, now we got C10 here, this uh, piece right here, and we have E2, this cool pink, pinkish purple looking piece here. Look at that. That's gonna go over the top of that one. This just sits just like that. There you go. And now we have D4, this white piece here with a little red arrow on it. And that's gonna go on the top, kinda lock it in. Like that, nice. Now we're going to take this piece and we have N2, that's this one right here. And taking it this direction, we're going to slide it over like this. Or if it's this way, you'll have the O3 on this side. We're just going to slide that in. We have these two pins that's going to go into this side here. This side over on that. Okay, so there's a pin in this side here and here. And then here and here, we're going to screw in with two of those P17 screws. Nice and snug, get the other one in. Here we are, it's gonna look just like that. Okay, now we have B15, it looks like a little uh, gauge here. So this is like a tank with a gauge. And it's gonna go this way around, and see it's gonna push on. It's got a key shape, so it's just gonna go one direction, just like that. Beautiful. 
All right, now we're gonna install this into the box and we have the gauge going towards the left of the box and two pegs here that's gonna go into these two holes. I'll just get those lined up and push it in. So the ball is gonna go through there and go through like a little corkscrew and drop out of the bottom. All right, now we have this light here. This is P6 with the green, white, and black wire. And we're gonna be putting it into N3. That's this piece here. It's gonna go this way around. And we're just gonna slide the wire in through the hole. All right, now looking at the light, you want it going this direction. You want the uh, green light at the top and that orange light at the bottom. And just slide it over these two holes, just like that. Okay, now we're just gonna get one of those P17 screws here. And we're gonna secure it through that right side there. Get that put down in there. Here's all the way down and snug, just like that. Okay, now we have uh, A10, that's this piece here. And we have F2. And we're gonna turn A10 around this direction and take F2 this way. And we're gonna push it in. This little tab is gonna slide into this little notch right here. Just like that. So when you flip it over, it's gonna look like this. Now we're gonna put this on to the light section that we just created without letting that fall out. It's gonna go this way with the roker wording going towards the top. And we're just gonna slide it over these pegs. Like that, push it all the way in. So it looks like that. You know, I have E7, that's this piece here. We're gonna put it on the bottom of this. And you don't want to uh, press on this because I guess you don't want to really break it. So you want to just line these pegs up, okay? Don't press on this part, press from underneath because you don't want to snap that off. It says specifically not to press on this, so I'm guessing it's been snapped off before. There we go, all the way on, just like that. Okay, now it's time to install it in the box. Okay, this particular one is going to be going into these two holes here and here, right under that top ramp. And once again, we need to run our wire through one of the pegs over here. Going to go through this side. Just want to get it in like that. And uh, I want, uh, again, we have the green dotted line around the peg that that one goes through. So it's no surprise on where it goes. Just make sure we keep that wire in that leg, in that peg. And see if we can get that wire ran through the hole. Kind of pull it as we're pushing it in. Probably have to wait till we get a little closer and then kind of catch it into the leg there. Just so it doesn't pinch the wire. And then see if we can line those holes up and push it right on. Again, don't push on this piece. Here we go. Now the wire's coming out the back. Just like that. And that's all the way in. Beautiful. Okay, now we got B18 and we have C4. And we're going to be putting C4 right on the B18. It's the top of the ramp, so we want to make sure we have it facing the right direction. Stick it on those two pegs, push it on nice and snug. It's going to look like that. Right, when cutting this ramp off, this is uh, B11. When cutting this ramp off, you want to just go right where these little silver pins narrow. And just get it the same length as that bottom one. And then uh, snip them right off. All right, so we're gonna take B11, this little ramp, and we're gonna press it into our part that we just made there. These are kind of thin, so just be gentle with them and push them nice and easy until they're all the way in. It's gonna look like that. Okay, okay now we have D3, and we're gonna be attaching that underneath this ramp. We have these two little pegs here that's gonna be going in these holes. And these pegs are gonna be going towards the back, so just line that up, press that in, and you wanna press it all the way, all the way down. Just be careful again, you don't wanna snap anything. You want that pressed all the way in. Now I'm gonna use this little tool here and just kinda of get inside there and push. There we go. You want it all the way seated, working a little better with this. And just get something you can put right in there, put it right where the peg is, and hold your finger behind there and just press it. There, see it just went down a little more. Now you can look from the side, you can see that rail is right against it on both sides. 
that's how you want it you want it all the way in all right time to install this ramp now we have uh these two little pegs here they're going to be going on to this part here where we have these two holes and then these two pegs are going to go into these two holes so get those lined up down there and these lined up on here let's get that pushed in i would suggest probably trying to get these small ones in first there we go now the big ones just make sure it's fully seated perfect gonna look just like that and you know, we have A13 and we're gonna be pushing that right into the board. We're gonna be going this way around with this notch here facing up, uh, this little square hole on the right side top. And we're gonna be putting that in right into these two holes here. Push it all the way in. Don't be afraid to lift it up, put your hand behind it so you can really get it all the way in there, just like that. And you know, we have N4, this this piece here with a little purple square on it right there. And we have B3, this piece. And it's gonna be going on the front. It's gonna look like a C going that way, of course. Just put it on the old pegs and push it on. Just like that. Okay, now we have L3, that's this ramp here with these red spots and the yellow arrows here. And we're gonna be attaching that onto here. Yeah, it's gonna go this way around. We have these two holes. It's gonna go over the two pegs here. We're just gonna put them on and push it in. It's all the way in, just like that. Okay, these two pins are gonna go right in underneath this ramp right here. And then these two pins are gonna go onto that piece that we just installed on the board. So, just wanna set it down in there, line it up, push everything in. Come from the back here. Go. Just like that. You can see we're just kind of building our way down from the top down to the bottom. All right, now we have E9, this nice piece here, L4. And we're gonna put those together. You can see they only go one way, just line them just up, just like that. Push them together. Probably don't wanna push on this piece too much, you don't wanna snap that off, so. Just push right where they go together at. All right, now we have E3, and it's gonna go on the end here. And we're gonna line that up and push it in. And just make sure it's all the way in, just like that. Okay, now we have C5, and again, just be very careful where you're cutting these at. Uh, just look at the diagram carefully and cut it right where it shows to cut them at. And we have B4 in this piece here. And it's gonna go this way, and these two studs here are gonna go into these two holes. Let's get those put in. Just all the way in, all right? And now we're gonna take the other end, and it's gonna go into this end here. Just line those three pins up and push that in look just like that okay now we have q1 this uh cool clear piece right here here's a uh, e5 and we're going to be putting it into these two holes right here i think it only goes one way so let's just get that put in just like that and now we have c15 this piece here and it's going to go right into these two holes here and here well let's get that lined up and pushed in just like that. And we have B16, this piece, and it's gonna go into this hole here. So just get that on there, lined up and pushed in. It's flat right against it there, so you can't really mess that up. Just like that. And right, now we're gonna take our ramp that we just built and we're gonna put it on here. It's gonna go this way. So we have these two pins, it's gonna go back here, and then these two are gonna go in the front. Let's get those lined up get those pushed in it's gonna look just like that all right now we're gonna put this in the box so we got these four pegs here and they're gonna go into these four right here now let's get those lined up and just get it put in this is gonna form that neat X look like that cool and we have C7 that's this piece here I'm going to be putting that in. Uh, these two pegs are going to go right here, and this is just going to be like a brace for this. So let's get that put in. And pushed in. There we go. It's right there underneath. Again, that's like a little brace under there to help support this. Right now we have M4. That's this white and black arrow piece here. We have A1, this little bowl kind of piece here. And we have B9, this piece. We're gonna put the arrow on first. We got 
two square kind of slots and that's going to slot into. Let's put that in there and just firmly press it. Gently but firmly to get it all the way in. It's going to look like that. Now this piece goes on the bottom. It's going to go, going to go this way and this is going to face towards the outside. So you want to put this over these pins. It really just goes kind of one way I think. Let me see this direction you can see it's got a little hole there for the pin in there so it really only goes in one way just get it in and push that in nice and firmly just like that okay now we're going to install this in this is going to go under that little like pressure chamber we made earlier and a ball will drop in here and roll around and go through that hole so we're going to put it into these two holes here line those up and push it in there we go all the way down in there just like that all right, now we're building this little light piece here. I already screwed the light in. This is um, B12, and this is B14, this piece here. And uh, that just goes right over the top of this, just like this, pushes all the way in. And then I lowered the light in there. That light is P7 with the white, black, and purple wire. Just lower it in there and screw that in with one P17 screw. I already did that. You can see the screw right in there. And then you want to run the wire into this little spot here. Sorry, I just missed recording that. So I just wanted to go over that again for you. And now we're going to drop it down inside here. Again, the wire goes through the hole with the green dotted lines. It's going to go into these two uh, right here. So let's just turn it around that way. Run the wire through. And then push the two pegs through the holes. Make sure that wire stays inside the one peg. Just push it all the way in. There we go. And we got our wire running out right there. Gonna look just like that. You know, we have M5. That's this white and gray piece here. This is very cool looking, very futuristic spaceshipy looking. And uh, this peg is gonna go into this bottom hole right here. And then the top peg is gonna go into this hole. So let's get that put in. We'll put the bottom one in first. My phone's going crazy. And then push that top one through, just like that. All right, so in the bottom, you can see the hole goes all the way through for the marble to drop out. All right, guys, so now we have D1. That's the bottom ramp here. Now, if you're building this for the marble to come out the side, and this is gonna be um, part A, which would be this box for the bottom or standalone, you're gonna also add D6 right here. That would plug this hole up right here and allow the marble to go past it and out the side. But we're gonna leave that out because uh, we want the marble to drop out of this one and into the last city, the one that's gonna be down here underneath it. So uh, this is gonna be C, this one here. So we want the marble to go this way and then drop through, not come back out. And it's going to go around and then come out the bottom of the last city and back into the lift. So we're going to leave that plug out. All right, now that's going to go inside here. This peg here is going to go inside this uh, piece that we just put in. There's another hole right here in the back. And then these two pegs are going to go in here and here down here. So let's get this put inside there. And uh, we're going to push it in to those holes. I'm going to use this rod and push this one in, just like that. And we want to push it all the way back again, firm as we can. All right, so now we have the hole going all the way through for the ball to drop out. So once again, as you can see, uh, in the book, this has a very yellow tint. On camera, it does not. But uh, all of this yellow tinted area is going to be the alternate ways of doing it. If you're building this as a standalone, you're going to stay in this white area, everything marked with an A. Okay? And then over here, you'll have your different setups. So that's why we went to this one. It's got the C's highlighted. That's what we did. So we leave that piece out so the ball can drop through. And now we have D7. That's this piece here. This is on the D sprue with the white stuff. So kind of weird. And we're going to be putting this into the bottom. This is going to go into these two holes uh, here and here. Uh, we're going to put it in this direction with the uh, this flat part outwards. So we're just going to put that right in there and push it in. 
It'll look just like that. Okay, now we need C1. Uh, again, we're still going off of this diagram here. We have the C highlighted, so we're using uh, C1. So uh, we have, um, if we were going to be doing uh, the B, where it's going to go out the other side, we'd be using C12. But we're doing C, so we're going to be using C1. All right, and that's going to press into these two holes here and here. Get that put in. Just like that, all the way in. And that's going to sit on that piece there. There's going to be a little stand for it. Just like that. So again, guys, we are mostly assembling this box just like we would do if it was just a standalone because we have it coming through here and out this side. Um, the only difference is uh, we're having it drop out the bottom. So if we were doing a standalone, we would have put that plug in so it would come out the side. So again, that the only difference on this one is gonna be that plug. Everything else we're doing like it's a standalone build. Anyway, now we have B2, that's this piece here with the little white arrows on it. And that's gonna be going in the front right here. It's gonna be going into these, these two holes right here in the front. So let's just get that put in, just like this. Okay. Look like that. All right, now we have M6, this piece right here. And we have E1. This one, it says Future City on it. And it's gonna be going this way and with the Future City wording facing upwards like this. And we're gonna push it into these two holes right here. Let's push that all the way in, just like that. All right, now this is gonna be going into these two holes, of course, with everything facing out so we can see it. So let's get that pushed in. Push it right in there, just like that. It'll look like that. Here now we have M7, this kind of spool looking piece here. And we're gonna be putting that into these last two holes right here on the bottom. Well, it's not the last, last two, but that's where we're going with it. And it's gonna go a specific way. Let's see how that goes. All right, so there's a little red line right here on the front. Probably kind of hard to see, it's right there. That's gonna be facing outwards. So just face that red line outwards and that should line right up with those two holes and push it right in, just like that. Okay, Okay. now we have C2, this purple piece here. We have the light here. This is P8 with the orange and white wire. And we have one of those uh, four millimeter screws that is the P17. We're gonna be putting the light inside this box. We're gonna flip it around this way, just like that. And you can see right here where the screw is gonna go. So with the light facing in, we want to lower this in. It should, you know, it's going to be shaped just like the box. So I'm going to lower that in just like that. And then we're going to put that screw in right there. You can get that nice and snug down so it looks just like that. Now we're going to flip it over this way and we have F3, this piece here. All right, we're going to be pushing that into this uh, spot right here, so let's just get that lined up in there and push it in. You got a nice surface there, just push down on it and just really get it down in there. It's gonna look just like that. All right, now we got L5 and D11. I'm gonna be attaching those together, and the way this one's gonna go is this part of the ramp. You can see these two little pegs are gonna go down inside that part of the ramp, so we just need to put that in and push it down nice and snug, all the way in, just like that. Okay, now we have L6, that's this piece right here, and that's gonna be going on here. It's gonna go this way around, and these little studs here, there's three on each side of this ramp, are gonna slide into this. So just line these up like this, and we're gonna push down and just snap them right in, just like that. Okay, now we have B6, this little arrow sign, and that's gonna be going right here onto these two pegs with the arrow pointing down. So just get those lined up, put that in, just like that. Okay, now we have E4, that's this piece right here. It says Roker right on it. It's gonna go underneath the bottom of this ramp. We have these two studs here. It's gonna go into those two holes. Just line them up and again, push it down, just like that. 
You know, we have L7, this ramp here, and that's gonna be going on underneath this piece. We have these two square pegs here that's gonna go into these two holes here and here. Just the same shape, just line them up and push it in. Just like that. Got a multi-level ramp here. All right, now we're gonna put the light piece that we just created on, and that's gonna go on the back of here. So it really goes one way, because we have two smaller holes here and here, and two bigger holes here and here, and corresponding pegs on those two ramps. So just line those up and push it on. Again, firmly, but carefully, so you don't break anything. You wanna get that all the way seated, just like that. Okay, it's time to put this into our marble run here. Once again, we can see the pin here that needs the wire needs to go through. We want to make sure we have that in. Actually, we don't need to run that through that peg. This has got its own hole. It's going to go out. As you can see down in there, uh, the wire is going to go out through this hole. And then we have the two pegs of it here and here. And then these pegs and these pegs down here. So let's get the wire going through that hole. It's got its own spot to go out. Let's get it into there. There we go. And I just kind of feed it around and get everything lined up. And let's start pushing it in. There we go. Get them all lined up. They'll push right in there. Make sure, again, don't put too much pressure on that piece. There you go. Again, just make sure it's all the way in. Don't push on that piece like I just did. It just popped further down, but I was able to pop it back up, so it's fine. And then here we are at the back, and here's our wire coming out right there. Just like that. Super nice. Getting closer, guys. All right, guys, we have A14. That's this piece here. We have this light board. This is E9. And then we have two of the P17 screws. We're going to be putting this on this board. It goes uh, this direction with the lights facing outwards. So we're going to run this wire through that hole uh, like this. Here we go. Uh, you can tell because you got these little round cutouts here. They're going to go around these little round spots here like that. So let's run the wire through this hole and then just sit this down in there just like that. Perfect. And we're going to attach it here and here with those two P17 screws. Right, just like that. Okay, now we have D5. We're going to be putting that over our lights here, and keeping it this direction. It's going to go this way. Just going to put the little pegs into the uh, peg holes. There's three of them, so it only goes one direct, one way. Get it in there and just push those in like that. Then all those little lights are going to come out through these holes here. Nice. All right, now we got these R6s here and these R1s. We're gonna be putting these together. I think there's five, yes, there's five of them. And so it's gonna go like this. Uh, the R6 is gonna go into the R1, uh, just like this. It really just kind of goes one way. Push them on. Like that. I'm gonna do that with all five of them. All right, now we got all five of those done. We're gonna be putting them onto this board. Uh, again, with the board like this, uh, to the little holes here. There's one like that. And now we're gonna do the other four. Okay, gonna look just like that. Really cool looking, huh? All right, now we have A7, and we're gonna be putting that on here. Only goes one way, it's got these two pegs. The bigger one goes to the left uh, because the right one is closed off, so it wouldn't go through anyways. Let's get that on all the way down. Just like that. So the peg comes out the back. Here we have A8, which is this piece right here, and it's gonna be going on the other side. It's gonna go this way around. It's only really one way it'll go. Push it right through these holes. Like that. Okay, now we have N5. That's this piece right here. And we're gonna be putting that on. So we have this square piece that's gonna go in here, and then these two pegs, or this one peg, that is gonna be going in this hole. So let's get those put on. Gonna push in. Just like that. 
you know we have a4 that's this piece right here it's got the little red x on it and it's going to go with the x facing out and this little square piece is going to fit right in there nice tight fit right there and now we have b1 that's this ramp here and it's going to be running through the middle like this so we're going to run it through the middle and that's going to go over the top of this piece here like that and this is going to slot right in right in here and push those down get those nice and secure here we go like that okay now we have e8 that's this piece right here and we're going to be going over this end of the ramp and we just got some pegs here that's going to fit into the holes and just get them lined up right over this end of the ramp there you go now you just get them pushed in or just like that very nice and now we have c8 that's this piece right here and we're going to be putting that right on the front of this it's going to go this way around uh, like a shoe and it's going to sit right onto these two pegs like this push that in nice and snug it's gonna look like that really cool all right now we have c16 that's this piece here i'm laughing because i was cutting it off the sprue and it just flew so fortunately i was able to find it it's kind of small piece but i was able to find it actually landed in an open area which is uh weird usually they go right underneath something but be careful clipping those off the sprues they can shoot off all right, let's go ahead and put this on. This goes right here under this section. We got a couple of uh, little pegs there, and this is just gonna go right over them like that. Get that pushed on, just like that. Okay, all right, now it's time to put this into the box. There's a lot going on here, so uh, we basically have these pegs here that's gonna be connecting in, and this wire running through the back. Okay, when we look inside, Here's our pegs here. It's gonna be going into, we have this kind of L shape and then our wire's going through there and then another L shape there. So let's get the wire put through the wire hole and get it through there. A little tricky. I think we can get it through there. There it is, coming out the back. All right, now let's get it down on there. Okay, now we want to push here. Make sure we don't push on anything else. We want to just push on this ramp part and get that into the holes. And all the way in there. Don't want to push anything else because you'll break it off. So uh, just on these ramps right here. All right, now we're going to look in the back and make sure we're all the way through. We're looking a little shallow right here. So let's see if we can get that on in. I think we're all the way down. I think we are all the way down. I'm just gonna hold the back and push on that ramp. There we go. And that's going a little further. And then this side. Uh, that's about as good as we're gonna get. Yeah, it looks like we're all the way in now. You wanna look at these pegs on the back. You know, they wanna be all the way at least pretty much flush. So we got that all the way in now. Nice. All right, so now we're gonna assemble the top piece. All right, so we're gonna be assembling it like A and C again, which is uh, here. So we're going to be doing it this way. If we were doing it like D and B, we would go use this section over here. But we're going to be going with this section here. All right, so we have B13 and we have D8. And we're going to take B13 this way, with this little ridge facing up. And D8 is going to go right into these two holes right here. So let's just push that in, just like that. All right, now we got B5, this piece right here. We're gonna be connecting it on here. We're gonna take it this way around with this, these white pieces facing upwards. And we're gonna push it into those four holes. Like that, all the way around. Okay, it's gonna look just like this. Okay, now we have A2, this little ramp here. And we're gonna be putting this right on top of it, just like this. Snap that all the way in. Like that all right now we have a6 and a9 and we have k which is this piece right here and we have n6 this piece right here and we're gonna be putting these all on to uh this k right here which is uh, this clear piece which is real nice 
And we're going to start here on the end and we're going to go with this piece that we just built and it's going to go right here on this side over this hole. I'm just going to put it on, line it up and push it in like that. All right. And now we got the A9, this little corner piece. And it's gonna go right here, just like that. Push that in all the way. Now we have N6, this uh, nice piece here. And going this direction with the white lines facing this side, we're going to push it on right here, just like that. All right. And now we have M8, this uh, gray looking corner, and it's gonna go on this side here. Get that pushed on just like that. And then last but not least, we have A6, and it's gonna go right here on this end. Get that pushed in. Here we go. Everything is all the way down on there. It's gonna look just like that. And then we have A12, this purple piece here, and it's gonna go right over this. It's gonna go with this thicker part towards the right. So let's get that put in and pushed in right here on this, just like that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put this into our box now. I think we left some pieces out. I forgot to put H13 in earlier. Uh, it goes on this side. I put H12 in here. I forgot to put the H13 in, so let's go ahead and get that one put in. It goes right here. It's important because this piece fits into it, so. Let's get it put in on the other side. There it is. All right, now we can drop this piece in. I'm gonna slide right into those grooves and then push it all the way in, just like that. Very nice. Okay, now we have B8 and we have E6, and we're gonna put these on. These are just kinda like trim pieces. Okay, this has got like a little hook on it. You can see right there. And that's gonna hook over this little, there's a little bar right here. It's gonna go right over that. There we go. Like that, and that'll just kind of flap down. Swing around a little bit when it's up. And now we have E6. It also has a little hook on it there. Right there. And we're gonna be putting that down here on this piece that we put right here. A little hook that's gonna hook around to that one. So let's get that on there. Hook that in. There we go, just like that. They're just gonna kind of hang down like that until we lift it up and then they'll fall into place, see? Right there. So they just kind of swing there. All right, guys, now it's time to test the marbles and see how they run through it. Ooh, you. If it's like the other one, we get 15 marbles. Wanna call them marbles? Looks like uh, there's five, uh, 10, and 15, yep. All right, so what we're gonna do on this one is we're gonna run, push them through the side and see if they make it all the way down. Now you're not gonna be able to see this part because I don't have my side camera hooked up, but you're just gonna have to believe me. Came out somewhere. There it is. Try it. another one. I'm gonna have marbles going everywhere. I think it's working right, guys. Everything seems to be coming all the way out the bottom. So uh, there's that test done. Yeah, they're coming out the bottom like they're supposed to and not out the side. And of course, if you're going to have this set up for your uh, standalone, you'll have that plug in so they'll come out the side. But we are not doing it that way. All right, now we're going to put the uh, door on the front. And here we're going to take this plastic off of it. There we go. We got some uh, hole at the top and bottom and we're going to hinge that in. There we go that in just like that so you put it in the top and then there's a little groove here so you can move the bottom over some and put it in and then slide it in all right now we have h10 this piece right here it's gonna go on the bottom so let's get this foot this way and it's gonna go right here over this peg and this one just like that and then we're gonna screw that in right here with one of the e15 screws out of pack two a little black screw like we used at the beginning so Get that put in right here. Put that down, get that nice and snug. There we go. And that door is locked in there. There we go, we can open the door. And we can shut the door. Nice. All right, it's time to get these wires all wired in right. So let's flip it over this way. Make sure there's nothing under it to scratch this plastic up. 
flip it over this way. We're gonna need our circuit board here. This is uh, 1A. That circuit board's got little notches on the bottom. It's gonna correspond with these notches right here. And it's gonna go over that peg there, just like that. Now we're gonna start wiring this in. So I'm not gonna put this uh, down yet. I'm gonna hold it up a little bit so I can kind of maneuver it around. So this first plug that goes to the switch is gonna go into this first number one. This is the number one plug. It's gonna go into this number one uh, socket here. As you can see, they're all numbered. One, two, and three, and around. So that one's gonna go in there. Just make sure you have it the right direction like that all right the second one is this one here this is number two so we're going into the number two spot and it's going to go in the same direction there we go and then number three is this one here this blue one from way up top it comes from the uh, top this is number three so it's going to go into the number three spot so let's bring this down plug it in just like that okay number four is this green and white one here green black and white and it's going to go into you guess it the number four spot pushed all the way in number five is this short one here this purple and white one purple black and white we're going to put that in the number five spot and push all the way in number six is this one the green and white one let's get that put in just be careful putting them in some of these are kind of hard to go in for some reason i haven't faced the right way there you go that one went right in easy. Okay, number seven is going to be this uh, orange, black, and white one. Let's get that one in right here. There it goes. Okay, number eight is this top one up here, the blue, white, and black one. Blue, black, and white, white, black, and blue, however you want to say it. Put that one in number eight right here. Yeah, that one went in nice and easy. Okay, number nine is this little short one coming out right here. Going to go in right here on the end. Get that one put in. All right, and that is all the wires put in the correct spot. And now we're gonna sit this back in like I had it, just like this, over that peg and these little spots here, just like that. Now we have, we need three of these uh, E17 screws here to screw this down with. It's gonna go right here in the bottom, put that one in. Yeah, and then one over here on the right. And then one all the way over here on the left right here like that all right now we have our little tabs here for wire management let's get to get these out we need seven of them these are all the same all of one this this is sprue x all of these are the same so it looks like seven okay let's start running these we need the blue one and this uh the blue one's going to come down and then come over and then come this way and then it's going to come over and it's going to come down this way and then the green and white one's going to go with it all right at the beginning we're going to put a peg in right here just like that to hold those wires i'm going to put one up here too we'll see bring it on down I'm put another one right here there we go and then it has another one right here you got just too much wire you can just kind of fold it a little bit and then put the whole thing under it like that right, so we're going to put one right here there we go i'm going to put one over here maybe here there we go okay now this one's got one on it and it goes right here there we go now we got this blue one we're going to come this way with it around this peg here and we're going to put one right up here at the top right here and then after all of these three come together right here we're going to put one in there just like that get another one on there right here at the bottom get all of these together just like that and we'll put one more right there there you go pretty neat just like that wires managed okay now we're going to put the lift on uh this is for a we're not doing a we're doing c now if you're going to be doing a and putting the motor and everything in it to operate this uh side you would go with the these instructions here we need to go over to instruction C. I believe we're gonna find that in our uh, lift module set. So let's get that out. And here's our lift module set here. Let's get it out. It has a different set of instructions in it. Here we go. Here's our box. Again, if you're gonna put these side by side, you don't need this. You're gonna be connecting it to the other lift box, but 
uh, we are putting this one on top so you all can see how the lift will work going all the way up. So here's our lift module box there. We got the uh, back plate and the front, front glass. Here are our arms. We'll be using these extended arms. These right here, is it these? I think it's these. Yeah, these longer ones. We'll be using these longer ones because they will connect into the top of the other ones. We're gonna be using those. All right, guys, so we're assembling the top lift hill. This is gonna be lift hill E, and it's gonna be unpowered. So we wanna get our instructions here for assembly instructions for lift E, F, and G. Okay, this is not the regular assembly instructions for the powered uh, version. So we're gonna open that up, and we're gonna start right here on lift E, F, and G, and we're gonna do this. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to do the instructions for lift E. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this going. All right, so we have our frame here and we need part E6. Now I've pulled most of these parts already and I have them back here ready to go. So here's E6 right here. And we're going to flip this this way around. And with this facing towards the back, we're going to slide it right into the top here. Uh, that opening, that's where the ball is going to go in. So we need to push that in all the way down, nice and flat. So on the inside, we have that hole there for the ball to go in. Okay, now we're gonna put our lift arms in. We have them right here. We have G1 and G2. G1 is the one with the longer part on the top. That's this one, it's kind of tapered. That's gonna go on the right side of the lift. So what we wanna do is put it in at an angle like this so we can get past this first step there, like that, and then just drop it down and so it's just like that okay, and now with g2 we're going to do the same thing but on the left side we're going to put it in at an angle and i guess i don't really need to go at an angle just a little bit of an angle just to get it in so when they go up they'll be flush and both at the top just like that okay now to hold those lifts in we're going to go ahead and put the front cover on that's this plastic piece here just like on the bottom lift and we're just going to slide these tabs into the bottom like that and then push the whole thing in and that'll hold those arms from falling out all right now we got to put the diverter in that's going to tell it to uh, send the ball off to the um the right side when it goes in and for that we're going to need part d2 and e3 that's this seesaw looking one it's flat on the top and it has this little ridge on the bottom that's going to lock it into place so we need to take d2 facing this direction and we want it to slant off to the left and with this little pin going into the right hole right there so we're just going to slide that on facing left put that down until it snaps in and it's into the little hole and now that's not going to move it's permanently fixed that direction. All right, now we need to install this into our lift heel. And if you look down in there at the top, you'll see some uh, grooves on each side. And uh, these are going to slide into those grooves. So we just need to line them up down in there. Yeah, with this little uh, thing facing out and then push it until it clicks in. Just like that. Okay, and now we have E7, and this is a plug, and that's gonna plug the hole in the bottom so that when the ball is coming up, it won't go through that hole. See, there's a hole right there in the bottom, right there, and we're just gonna push this down in there and plug that hole up. Get in the right direction, and set it down in there, and we find the right spot and just push it in. I believe that's it. it Sounds like it's all the way down in there. Look at the other side. Yeah, if you can see right in there, you can see the, the hole. I don't know if you can get the right light, but that hole is plugged up. All right, now we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna put the back panel on. And for the back, we have the back panel right here. This is part B, and we have one uh, P9 screw. So this is just gonna slot into the bottom like that push in and then we're going to screw it in right here with that P9 screw. This is a five millimeter screw and that is in bag L4. There we go. And that's all we got to do with that uh, lift hill E, the top lift hill unpowered. So these will be powered by the bottom ones going up and down. So 
All right, guys, here we have our uh, the last city that we've already built. We have our lift hill all assembled on it. Now we have to change this lift hill into lift hill D so that it will work. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is get all the marbles out of it. We're gonna put all of these marbles together here. There should be 30 of them in there. I'm gonna lay this down, take the back off, because we're gonna have to alter the top portion of this. Okay, we need to get this piece out. There we go. Got it out right there. Okay, so we need part E5. I believe this is E5 right here. All right, we gotta take this top plate out of here. Somehow. There we go. And we're gonna put this one in, and it's gonna go this direction, and just put it straight down in there, like that. All right, and I believe that's all we gotta do to uh, this, this lift it. So all we have to do is take the uh, the piece out of here and change this piece out. All right, now we're gonna have to change out some of these pieces that we have holding this in. Uh, so that the other pieces can sit on top. I guess we can put the back back on. There you go. All right, so we've got to remove this part. That one's got to come out. We had to take this one out, and we're going to be replacing it with this one so it connects them together. We replace this shorter one with the H11, the longer one. This is going to connect all these together, guys. See, it sticks up higher right there, so we take the shorter ones out. This one's got to come out too. I'm not sure how I'm going to get it. Yeah, I think I could probably use my X-Acto knife on it and see if I can pop it up. not sure about this one. I'm supposed to get that out of there. I get that out. I don't know how to get that out of there. All right, guys, so I moved the two corner pieces out, and I moved this one out because they've got to be replaced uh, with... The corner pieces are going to be replaced with this piece here, so it's going to slide in and connect them both together and then in this middle piece here is the uh, four sided piece that's going to go in and hook all these together so all right guys what i ended up doing is i could not get that short piece out of here i tried different things i tried tape on it uh i don't have a drill bit small enough to drill a little hole in that and put a screw in it. if you got one uh, you could do that so what i did is i just took another short one and super glued it directly on top of the other one so it should uh should be just right so we'll find out here in just a minute all right so let's go ahead and get some of this stuff out of the way here so i needed two of these uh to go on the sides and this one on the back to uh, hold everything together so we're going to take our other lift hill and we're going to uh put it on top of this one let's see if i can lay it down and do it that way let's see if we can get this lift hill connected into that one take this off so i can kind of see what's going on here the gears. Gears pushed in like that. Now we gotta get these gears pushed together. I'm gonna try to hold it. There's that one. And there's that one. Now that should be right. Let's go ahead and get these put back on. Now I'm going to lift it back up, and uh, right here we're going to put this, one of these in, to hold those together, just like that, okay? Alright, let's bring over our other marble run, and we're going to put it on the top. Here we are, slide it right down over that other pin. Okay, now right here on the top, right there, we need another short one to go there. It's uh, part 6, H6. There you go. So right here on the top, we're going to put H6 in there to hold that together. Like that. And then just this single one here on the back, on the corner. Just to make it look better. Double one right here in the middle. There we go. Got that one in there, right there. Now this four one is going to go here, just like that, nice. This one is going to go here, just like that. I think that's all of them. There's a couple just to put on the top, just for looks I think. These little small ones, we'll put them back on the top of this one. That, I 
again, that's just to fill those little holes. Just for looks. And one on the other side. Lay this whole thing face down. Put the back on here. Line the back up over our USB Type-C ports, just like that. And then we need four P18 screws to screw this back on. I haven't even tested these lights yet. I hope they all work. Alright guys, I believe that is it. So let's go ahead and put the wire on this. Okay, so we need to wire this one to this one. So we're going to go from here to here, like that, and then we'll plug in the bottom. Alright guys, there it is all done. So let's uh let's see if it works. Didn't have too many issues at first. They were kind of the balls were kind of sticking in the top part of the lift here, lift hill here. Let me lift it up a little bit. There you go. It's it's uh, really big now. If you thought this model was small, stack two on, stack them on top of each other, and then you got a decent size marble run. So, uh, yeah. So at first, at the they were sticking here at the top. Let's sit it down again. And the top part of the lift hill, for some reason, they were, it was doing fine. But when we get to the top, they were kind of sticking. And I think they just weren't quite lined up just right. And uh, eventually, just kind of messing with them and trying to push them together and separate them just a hair here and there. I finally got it running uh, pretty flawlessly right up the lift hill, as you've seen there. I just wanted to go through, uh, assemble the future city for you, and then show you how to connect them together on top of each other. Uh, again, it would have been a lot simpler putting it beside it uh, simply because you would just have the one lift hill and then all you would have to do is change out that diverter at the top so that it would go back and forth. But I, again, I wanted to show you how to do it, um, how to put them together on top of each other like this. So so I'm pretty happy with the outcome of it. Anyways, it, it went together pretty, pretty easy and uh, I hope you enjoyed this step-by-step -step uh, assembly of it on the um, the last city I did a time lapse uh, this time I decided to just do a step by step and show exactly how to put everything in together uh, on this and um, how to convert this over to be uh, uh, one on top of the other one so they would work together so if you guys are interested in, in getting either one of these or both of them or four of them or whatever you want to do I will leave a uh, link to the website in the description down below. With that being said, guys, uh, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, comment, stroll over there and hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out immensely. And I'll see you next time on Chewy Solo and this is Black and Red Builds. See ya. Woo! Now that is a whole lot of fun right there.